look at the new way the state is distributing personal protective equipment to small practices and clinics across Texas. There's yet another push from state lawmakers to do more to protect seniors and long-term care facilities. New numbers from the state show 290 people have died in these homes. Last night we told you about a letter from the Travis County delegation to Governor Greg Abbott. Today, a representative from Round Rock joined the fight, sending a letter of his own. Keg Sands' Avery Travis talked with him about why more than 60 legislators have signed it. This letter comes just days after 50 residents in a home in Round Rock, Representative James Tallarico's district, tested positive for COVID-19. But he says this is happening across the state. But that's why this is not a partisan issue. Republicans and Democrats, including the caucus chairs of both parties, have added their names. They're asking for more funding from an emergency Medicaid rate increase to get hazard pay and protective gear to the staff of these homes. Also, testing for every worker and resident. We have a limited testing supply, but we should have a long time ago directed that limited supply to where it is needed most, which are nursing homes, state supported living centers and group homes. They're also asking for more transparency in where deaths and confirmed cases are happening. That's something KXAN has been asking for since the beginning of this pandemic. But right now, the state still refuses to release. Tellerico says they think the most up to date information needs to be public so they can target resources to the homes and people who need them most. Weeks ago, he tweeted this photo of him with his own grandmother. Our challenge is not just to care about our own mamas, it's to care about everybody else's mamas uh, because that's the only way we're going to make it out of this crisis. The representative says since writing the letter, he's been in touch with the Health and Human Services Commission. They told him the funding for the Medicaid rate increase has been approved. Now, he says he's going to follow up to make sure that funding gets to frontline workers in these homes. Avery Travis, KXAN Investigates. We reached out to the governor's office for a response to these demands and the letter from the Travis County delegation as well. We'll let you know what we hear back.